Hi again. Well, I had an opportunity recently to go outside and do some more deep sky-ish imaging, but it was a very, very short window of opportunity earlier on last week. So I went out and found a dark sky place, or dark-ish, where I live. I mean, look at this. This is the dark sky map for where I live, and it's pretty awful. And I drove a little bit further south and found some darker skies and tried to get some images from this side, just side of the road, a uh, field of Roa Fushi. And what I took was this. So this is my Fujifilm XS10 and an Ascar FMA 180 astrograph lens. I've done a video on this lens, and if you don't know in anything about this lens, check it out. It's an ast it's designed for astrophotography. It's the equivalent of a 180 millimeters full frame focal length, and it's got its own built-in field flattener that you can remove and you can change the focal length. You can change the configuration for a number of different things, and I'd recommend checking out their website for those details. But it fits on my Ioptron Sky Tracker, as uh, Ioptron, Ioptron Star Tracker, put my teeth back in, quite nicely. And it's easy to move around. And one of the great things I find with this is when I'm trying to compose my shot, I can adjust. Without having to muck about too much. On the Star Tracker. Nice little setup, my first real go with it. So, have a look at this, and this was me setting it up the other morning. Okay, so I've got my camera set up and I'm aiming for Roa Fushi. Uh, forgive the sound quality, but I'm just using my phone out here, and it's about two degrees Celsius, it's very chilly. So, camera set up at the moment. And it's my Fujifilm XS10. And it's on an iOpton Star Tracker. And the lens I'm using is the Ascar FMA 180. And at the moment, I'm taking the dark frames. So, I had a very narrow window to capture my subs. The moon went down a short while ago. I had about an hour where I could capture the images, capture the subs before Astro Twilight started and I lost dark skies. So, we'll have to see how it goes. So you can see my setup here. camera's almost flat. Now the battery warning light on. So I've taken just over an hour's worth of imaging. And what I should have done really is bought a USB power bank, plugged it into the camera. But I've managed to get just enough. I'm just waiting for the dark frames to take. And then I'm going to go home. Okay, so I got the images back home and I thought I'd have a look at them and well not everything I'd hoped for it was a very brief window there were lots of planes and satellites going through the images so I had to reject a lot and I ended up with 22 good frames so, put them over into Photoshop, process them, and this is what I came up with.
hope you like that image and hopefully I'll get some more clear skies to get some more. I hope you get clear skies too. Take care.